All right. Okay. Shut the fuck up. I, I'm doing the counting. I know. I, just, I wanted to remind you. Uh, yeah, but you don't think you're about to do your intro. What beard is it, Chief? I don't care. All hands to briefing room. This is another captain's log. Here with Spario Otakuenda and myself, Admiral Y11. Um, so, I'm not able to record the captain's logs in the traditional way, which is just me sitting in front of my green screen at home with the camera rolling. Uh, for reasons I've stated several times in other update videos. In fact, I think the last two ones I did were literally me saying the exact same thing. My family's home and I can't record when they're around. However, I'm not at my house right now. I'm at his house. So we're going to do this thing as a sort of podcast. That's why we have this big blue Yeti microphone oh, here. Just tap the mic. That's great. It's going to make a nice noise. Yep. <laughs> like one of those, uh, look at the fucking audio levels. Yep. All right. That's going to be some fun editing for me. Anyway, so I specifically prepared a list of topics here because the last time I made this, I was kind of all over the place with it. And I had to do a lot of editing to make me sound competent because I sounded completely insane the last time we did it. I mean, we, I sound insane in general, but I mean, more so than usual. So we have a list of topics. I've already stated this, but I'm just stating it again so that people know. All right, read them all. All right, so the first, so here's what we have on, um, on the list. We've got, first off, we're going to discuss all the games we bought during uh, the Steam Summer Sale since it's coming to a close in about... Uh, I think it's four days? Uh, five? Yeah, no, four days, because it's the first. Well, I'm, I'm going to say like five and a half days, maybe. Because it ends June 5th, or yeah, June, July, July 5th. 5th yeah. Which, by the way, it's really weird, because I could have sworn the Steam Summer Sale is, I, I could swear it's getting shorter every year. Last year, it went through the entirety of June. No, I'm pretty sure last year was the same time, I think. No, I swear, it went through June, and it ended, like, the moment July started. Hmm. And I know, because I was looking at games, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, and then the stay. and I got money, I was like, alright, time to buy things, and then the, the sale ended, hmm. and I couldn't get anything. But I could have sworn, like, the year before that, it had lasted through June and July. Hmm. Like, it was an actual summer sale, it lasted throughout the summer. That's ridiculous. It, it, like, it just seems to me like it's getting shorter every year. I see. Are we next topic? Yeah, uh, the next topic? so we're going to be talking about uh, the games we got during that and what we plan on doing with them or whether or not we like them, etc., etc. Um, the next topic is uh, a more serious one. He doesn't know much about the situation, but I've been keeping on track of it. Uh, it's the situation with Alex Maurer. We're also going to use that to segue into what we may plan for the future for our channels. Because, I mean, I mean, we got to talk about that at some point. Right. right. Although, most, it's probably just going to be, you know, we continue the way we have for a while. Well, I'm going to add stuff about, like, it might not be technically about my channel, but about the comic kind of stuff I want to do. But, I don't know if that's... If that's I okay. just got soda all over myself. Oh, great. We have no this, is a profession, this is a professional podcast. Yeah, I was going to say you should have a coffee cup with that. I used to bring a coffee cup. Yeah, I used to bring a mug that had like a Family Guy quote on there or something. It wasn't a Family Guy quote. It was a um, nerd. I prefer the term intellectual badass. Yeah, isn't it? I thought it was from Family Guy. I don't know. No, it's not from Family Guy. Okay, never it mind. might be. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't watched far enough into Family Guy. Mm. Um, I haven't watched it at all. I've watched a few clips. Yeah, Family Guy funny moments. <laughs> yeah, Family Guy funny moments. Anyway. And, anyway. Uh, um, Segwaying out of that, uh, which is probably we should have put this higher on the list. In fact, we may just switch it around. Uh, we are going to be looking at the uh, TF2 changes discussion. Uh, last night we actually live streamed it, and it was terrible because we got our asses handed to us, and uh, you know there was a demo man who was spawn camping. It was just an awful experience. Yeah, maybe. And, that, and then I, I said in the chat, "This is why people switch to Overwatch." Ooh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I did that, and I was ooh, pretty. Shit. I was pretty fucking pissed at the spy. I said it's spies like these that make people switch to Overwatch. And this. Spy, what was the response? No one said anything. They were just like, "Oh God, this guy must be pissed." Destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> I did not so, see that. I typed the Overwatch in like like meme font, like the aesthetic font, like every space thing. Ah, uh, I did not see that. I 
Yeah, I'll have to rewatch the footage. Yeah, you will. But afterwards, we uh, we played Killing Floor Two, and Which it was fun. Which into the Steam games thing. Yeah. Because I bought that in the Steam sale. Yeah, but uh, the new update, the jungle update slash pyro update, we're going to be talking about that and how I think the war update would have been a better update. Yeah, also, there are some bullshit changes on the list, too. Yeah. And we're going to be... Hopefully, we can email them or like send them a message or something, because they said they're open to discussion for it. Yeah. So hopefully, they don't go forward. I mean, he- here's my discussion. Where the hell did jungle come from? Where, where in that? Where did that come from? Where, where did jungle come from? I was looking more forward to the frontline update. That was cool. That is cool. That was I cool. want that more, honestly. I would have loved to have. I was thinking of making a map for that, with a map with just like a convoy of ships, and it was like a control point sort of thing. It was you gonna can still lo- do it, but because it's, now it's gonna take longer for them to get it, so you can have, you have more chance. To well, do they it. said they're not accepting any more community updates. They are. They did. Yeah, when that's they why that? they said it. They said the jungle update's the only one we're going to be taking. Well, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, I know. I want the frontline. Uh, please, the eight people on the TF team, please don't do this. Don't they let it be the, the end. They need they it. They need it. Without the community, the game is shit. They're doing work for you. Do something with it. Anyway, let's get back. Let's get back on the schedule of the thing. Yeah. Also, we have no idea what the fifth topic is going to be. We decided. It's a mystery topic. Yeah, we'll uh, probably figure out what it'll be at the end of the. Uh, or when we. Well, we'll burn that bridge down when we get there. Yep. Or was it cross it and then burn it down? I don't know. Or do you burn it down and then cross it? I think. Or do that's you just jump way. in the river? I think you just swim across. Ah. Can't go around it. Can't go under it. Got to swim through it. Door of the Explorer. What about shooting it? Oh, you can shoot it too. Mm-hmm. I don't think Dora does shooting it involve burning it. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. So that's uh, that's out of the way. All right. So games we bought on Steam during the summer sale. I think since my list is shorter, I'll li- I'll list it off first. All right. Um. So I bought Starbound. I bought L- Laugh Trousers. <laughs> that's going to annoy me till the end. No, Luft Trousers. Luft Trousers. Luft Trousers. Luft Trousers. I cannot say that. Trousers. Luft rousers. I can say it slowly. Arou- All right, here, here. Arouser. Okay, I get the. Fucking Arousing. Arouser, arousing. Rouser. Rouser. Luft rouser. Luft rouser. There you go. Let's see. Did I get anything else? I got Starbound. I got. This man annoys me. I hell and back. Luft trousers. Did you just call it Luft trousers again? Yeah, I think I did. God damn and it. I got um. <clears throat> what the fuck is the last game? Uh, Killing Floor. Killing Floor 2. Yeah, 2. I, I still can't believe you got no other games. Like, we, weren't you planning on getting, like, a Rebel Galaxy as well? I might have... Wasn't that the game that was, like, $150? No. I might have... Be, I might it's still like get fif- some games, It's though, like 15 or 10 like, bucks. We only have a few uh, days. <laughs> that was an interesting burp. Yes. Because you did... All right. <laughs> God damn it, not the bone bits. Oh god, I don't want the PTSD from the fucking... <laughs> PTSD from, from Rice Trousel. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Maybe we should talk about bone bits for the fifth topic. Yeah, we made this joke before this podcast started. That's oh, when we, everything no. was going to be the fifth topic. Even oh, my boy. beard was a contender for the fifth topic. Now your Steam games. Alright, so the Steam games I got during the Steam Summer Sale. So... I went ahead and actually got a whole bunch of stuff, which is probably a mistake on my end because now I'm uh, I'm below my danger point with my uh, bank account. Uh, I'm not gonna state it, but I, I, I'm just gonna say I'm below it, and it's slightly concerning. And now I don't want to spend any money. But um, so the first game I got is a uh, Battle Zone '98 Redux. Ooh, that sounds crazy. Yeah, uh, I think is it was it a that crazy game with like the uh, well, the way I described pixel, it. Voxel art. No. Uh, the way I described it was, um, it's like Executive Assault, but oh, yeah. instead is uh, instead of it being you know like all different kinds of robots, it's more large scale and it has like hover tanks hmm. and things of that nature. At least from what I've seen from the uh, trailer. Also, I just realized this game actually has a workshop. Well, like a lot of games do these days. Well, yeah, but I mean, this is like from what I understand, this is a '98 game, 1998 game, hmm. I think. It may have released later, and they just called it Battlezone 98 because it sounds cool, but I mean, it, it does sound cool. 
Also, apparently, from what it seems, it's like Cold War, but with hover tanks and also executive assault. That sounds dope. Like, the problem... I'll explain this after. So I bought... That was the first game. Or one of the first games I bought, or at least it's the first game on my list. What else did I buy? Um, let's see here. Um, I, uh, I finally got around to buying Galactic Civilizations 3. I haven't played it yet. Um, but I've seen gameplay of it. It looks cool, and I also got the Builder's Kit DLC, because, I mean, I love being able to build my own ships, and y'all already know I'm gonna be building myself some, uh, some space battleships. Space boats. Space boats, yeah. Y'all already know. It's gonna happen. So I got that. Um, what else did I acquire? Um, I bought Luft Rousers before, I think. Before yeah, the Steam you sale. You bought it way before the Steam sale. Yeah. Um, I bought Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, which, by the way, I'm looking at this title, Middle Earth is trademarked and Shadow of Mordor is trademarked. There are two trademarks in this title. Oh my god, that is so dumb. <laughs> For Double when you need one. your brand protected. You my just, brand! You know what? Now, it's gonna, now I'm gonna have to pronounce it like this. Middle Earth, trademarked. Shadow of Mordor, trademark. Yeah, you have to turn to a friend to say trademark. Yeah. So I got that. It was large, too. It was like 43 gigabytes. Yeah, I almost got that, but I didn't get it, so... Yeah, it's large, and it took a long time. I need another hard drive for my computer. I need to buy a few parts for my computer. I need to do the like, same. I, I need to upgrade my uh, like, CPU, and I kind of want to do the case as well. Yeah, w once I get money, what I plan to do is I plan to replace the uh, computer's case with a different one. I may buy a new motherboard. Um, I plan on buying a sound card, most likely. I am going to buy a SATA cable, or a multi-SATA cable, and I'm going to buy a, uh, a hard drive or two, because I found out uh, too late, much too late, that the, um, the hard drive that's a terabyte larger than the one I have now was only 10 bucks extra. Hmm. And I hate myself for not realizing that earlier, because I could have had an extra terabyte for just 10 extra dollars. I have no idea. What, I'm not even close to knowing what time it is right now. It's, uh, 10.45. Okay. I was like, I, I could have been 3 o'clock in the night. You have so many, you have so many fucking screens here, you can't tell where the, uh, where this no, thing is. I know is. where it is, I just, like, didn't He's look just at like, it. Because like, I woke up just now, and I played some arms. And, which, uh, which screen, which, which screen has it? Oh, speaking of which, um, this screen here, we, um. Piece of shit. Yeah, we accidentally broke it. Yeah, we unplugged it, and it just what doesn't we were, work. No what more. we were planning to do was, since he has three screens already, he's got his tablet, uh, his main screen there, and then he's got his uh, big TV screen hooked up. What we were planning to do was, when we stream, instead of me having to use my phone to, uh, you know, look at the chat and such, we were going to hook this computer up to my computer. Computer. You call the screen a computer. Normie. Shut the fuck up. Okay. We were going to do that. We are going to hook it up. And so that I could use this one for this. But in doing so, something happened to this one. It said it could not be displayed in this video mode. And now that's all it and says. And he said change the resolution. It doesn't work on any resolutions. On my computer it is. And then he plugged it back into his computer, and now it doesn't work for him. We have no idea what happened. It just stopped working. Yeah. This thing's tiny. I don't know how the hell... Huh. This screen does no longer works, and... I honestly don't know how I played games on that before. I have an idea. I just thought of an idea. What? I think I've had this problem before. What I did was just unplug it and plug it back into a different port. Well, don't do that now. We're we're, we're in a yeah, podcast. Yeah, you're right. What are you doing? I don't know. You fool! I'll do it. Don't let me forget to try that then. Yes, I won't. I won't. Back anyway. Back to the uh, games I bought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the next game I bought was Planetary Annihilation Titans. I've seen this game a few a uh, few times before. It was called Titans, and it you know it seemed pretty cool. Uh, I think before it had mixed reviews, um, which is why I kind of shied away from it. But I think uh, since then it's changed, and uh, now I finally have it, and it's in my library now, and it looks interesting. Um, I bought Saints Row the Third. Because um, from what I understand, Saints Row the Third is regarded as, well, at least by the people I've talked to, the best of the Saints Row trilogy. Or I honestly quadruply. loved 4. It was so funny like, and wacky, though. Yeah, f 4 is fun. Saints Row 4 is fun, but the problem with it is... It's, like, almost too easy because of all the superpowers. Yeah. Like, That's kind of why I stopped playing it. Also, no, the reason I stopped playing it is because I was playing on a shitty laptop... And I have no idea why it didn't. It I it did, just didn't want to work. It was so slow. 
Yeah, I mean, like, also, you get, you get yeah, like, yeah. infinite flying power. There's no reason to, like, use cars. There's no reason to use anything besides one of the, like, the Eagle. I think it's called the Eagle helicopter because that has all the weapons with it. I mean, once you get the helicopter, you're basically set because you can spawn that in for literally nothing. And it kind of, it just, it feels too easy. Even on harder difficulties, it feels too easy. That's kind of what put me off from the game. I mean, it's, it's, it's a phenomenally fun game. I'm not saying it's not. It's hilarious. It's, it's hilarious. It's so wacky and zany and weird. Yeah, it's fun. It's just like, it's, it's just like, I just, I can't get behind it. I can't, I, like, I wouldn't, like, play it all the time. I, it's like, I've beaten it, like, three times now. It it's never like changed. I've beaten it three times, still not fun. Yeah, I mean, like, well, it's fun, but it's it's fun, but not in that way that says, you know, uh, I'm gonna come back to this one day. You I mean, know you did. I mean, I did, but only for a few minutes. And uh, it, there's also the problem of there's no in-game chat. There's no in-game chat. Did you know that? There's no in-game chat. You you when you press the button for chat, it opens the Steam overlay, hmm. and you have to use the chat from the Steam overlay. Hmm. Volition, tell me how you're able to, like, tell, or Deep Silver or Volition, whichever person made this game, how do you not program a chat box into your game? And also, why is it only two-player? There are games out there that are much more complex than Saints Row 4 that have almost 20 players, 50. The, the main example would be Grand Theft Auto. GTA Grand Theft, yeah, GTA I Online. Because my CPU is shitty. Oh well, yeah. I'd love to play that. That would be a perfect game to stream. I think it would be really fun. Yeah. Just, Just not too much, though. Otherwise, we'll end up like Vanos Gaming. <laughs> I don't know. I laugh Shots like fired. Fucking... Shots fired. Oh, that's a threat. He's gonna. He's gonna sue you now. That's fine. He's he's, he's in Canada. He's safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he's Canadian. Oh, okay. So he's safe. Canadia. Yes. This is a bone vid reference. Yeah, I know. I know it is. Okay. But yeah, I bought Saints Row the Third uh, just so I could see, you know, what the hoop was all about. The hoopla. It's yeah, the hoop. hoopla. The hoop. Yeah, the hoops. Shooting hoops. <laughs> it's gonna clap again for no reason. I did it for you. Thank you. But yeah, I bought Saints Row the Third and. At some point, I'm going to play that and, uh, you know, see... I, I'm going to compare the two, see which one's better. Yeah. Um, and the last game I bought for the Steam sale, Steam Summer Sale, is Warhammer 40k Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Um, and at some point, I do plan on getting the... Uh, I think it's the Ultimate Apocalypse mod. Which basically, it's just like... Uh, it just turns this game onto an even larger scale than before. Hmm. Fall on Imperial Titans, huh. which are just like giant, towering, hulking mechs of death and destruction. And fuck you. It is it's just it adds a whole bunch of stuff to the game, and I am planning on getting that. But first, I want to beat the game. Regular, yeah, normally, vanilla. yeah, just just beat it vanilla. Uh, there's actually it actually can get pretty challenging in this game sometimes. I mean, then you have to restart it. Uh, yeah, because I, I screwed myself over, and I put myself in a position where it's just like, it would I would just die anyway, so I had to restart my uh, main game. Funnily enough, though, the, here's the thing, whenever I play games that have saves like this, and it's like, uh, oh, there's no turning back, the way it works is like, I, I, like, I seriously name a save, like, oh, you know, first game, main campaign, I suck at that one, and then I start a new one, and I just go, on my keyboard, <laughs> and it, and then I do well in that one. Yeah. Nanoborg. Which I think it's a nano boy. <laughs> no, this is nano nano, this is one of the games I got from um I think it was Kingwin. They offered like ten free or ten Steam keys. I just thought of an idea for the fifth uh, topic. We're not talking about nano board. <laughs> no. But anyways, those are all the games uh, I got, and um, now we will discuss said games. So I pushed him to get uh, Starbound and Killing Floor 2, and in yeah, fact, actually all three of them. To, I, yeah, pretty much all three of the games I got this year, he was like, oh, you should get them. And I didn't look at any of the gameplay, I just downloaded them and bought them and shit. Which is kind of stupid on your part. Yeah, but I mean, it is, but I like them, so I got lucky, I guess you could say. Yeah, I mean, um, I, 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 I'd I, like to think I have some good taste in games. Yeah, he does. 
He plays play good games. I'd, I'd like to think that. Some people may disagree. Yeah, some people may do that. I mean, like, for, for instance, a lot of people don't seem to like Seven Days to Die, but I love that game. I think it's phenomenal. It has its problems, yeah, but I think it's a nice... I think it's a really good game. Mm. That's interesting. It's like the only game I've ever found on Steam where it, like, you can actually do what you see in a zombie apocalypse. You can fortify any house. You can build up forts. You can... It, it, it's probably... It's, in my opinion, one of the most accurate simulators. Hmm. Of what of like an actual zombie apocalypse. Minus the Minecraft block system. Minus the, you know, you're a lizard man and you die if you go into the desert for too long. My, minus all that. You're a lizard man? No, it's a joke. Oh, okay. There's a temperature yeah, there's a temperature serious. system there's a temperature system and it's basically like you're cold blooded. Oh. Like you you just like you get like you your temperature your core temperature changes so rapidly for such little things like oh you put on a shirt now you're dying of heat stroke hmm. it's it's pretty ridiculous but besides that it's i think it's a really good game and nobody else seems to like it that's strange well i mean a few of the people i've managed to get into a game like it um like uh one of tgr members friends recently we've been playing a lot of it uh we actually played some starbound together as well uh he's a pretty cool guy um, I managed to get TJR Zethus. He joined us for last night's stream, or at least he tried to. He tried to join us for TF2, but by the time the game installed for him, we already got tired of it. Yeah, we, we were already sick of TF2 shit. Yeah. Um, I don't think I got Victor to play. I, uh, got, uh, TJR Randy to play. I, we got Bramble to play for a little bit before he said, uh, I, w I want to play Killing Floor 2 with Randy, because I promised him. Ah. Uh. And I, I was gonna join him. I forgot what happened, though. I think I got off and then, like, had to go somewhere. Uh. I don't remember, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, Killing Floor and Starbound are the two games. I haven't played Lift Risers yet. He plans on playing it. Uh, yeah, I want to play it on stream, though, the first time. So I might do that tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, um, so Starbound is really fun. It's like space, kind of like... You, uh, wait, hold on. Flooding. I can, I can describe it in the... I can describe it with very few words. Imagine No Man's Sky... But it's Terraria and also a good game. Roasted. I uh, let, let me actually let me redo that. Imagine if uh, No Man's Sky was Terraria and followed up on its promises. Oh damn, that was good. Roast. Hold on. Get roasted, son. Get roasted. Uh, who made the game? Hello Games, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, it's really fun. It's like, uh, Hello Games. Well, oh my I... god, the moment that I had, though, when I... No, 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 hold on. hold on. Hello Games. More like goodbye. Yeah! It was the worst, uh, impression I ever... I'm dead. I like how you say I'm dead when you die. <laughs> no, I didn't say I'm dead. I said dead. Oh. Anyway, Alright, um, enough stupidity. So, yeah, so Starbound, uh, he tells me not to jump off an edge. We did this, it was on stream. No, 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 we can't, we, uh, don't just, I don't still, discuss it? Yeah, don't discuss okay, it, I'm gonna be putting funny. it. I'd recommend, what, if, whenever he gets around editing that moment, it is hilarious We, fuck. we spent about four hours and we only managed to beat the Urchus Horror. But that yeah. was mostly because I was trying to get him geared up. Yeah, and mostly because I suck. Well, I, I think it was mostly because I was taking all the ore. Yeah, probably. I needed iron. Yeah. Iron, iron and titanium. Those are the two things you'll always run out of. Yeah. It's I, I already experienced that. And then Killing Floor. I played it. We I bought it yesterday. Killing Floor two, by the way. Ah, uh, two. Yeah, Killing Floor two. Uh, it is immensely fun. I really like it. And there's a taunt in the game where he does this. It's the only taunt in the game, and it's fucking amazing. Yeah. I love it. Only you don't really get to do that much because there's zombies chasing you at all times. Um, but there's a fucking curious George bitch dude, and he's the scariest thing in the game. Demon so far. monkey. Demon monkey, also Mon known as Mon Curious George. Curious. We have uh, a few. Chat, we, have, we have we uh, have a few a few nicknames for uh, the Scrake, the uh, Summer Sideshow um, Scrake. We have a uh, Monkey Man. We have Angry Monkey. We have a uh, Winston Watson. <laughs> Winston. What? <laughs> we have Curious George, we have a uh, Demon Monkey, and we have- Oh God, no! Yeah, also, did you notice in the chat I said Curious George is getting upset? I typed that in the, like, text chat. I didn't see that, but I <laughs> yeah. wish I did. <laughs> I Curious wish George did. is getting upset. 
Yeah. Now I got. Now I want to make that. Now I want to just like uh, take out the monkey face and just put George's face. George Costanza. Yes, George. On the fucking monkey. Yep. That's funny. But yeah. Make that a thumbnail. And then and then we've come up with a new nickname for the husks, spicy boys. And then what about the angry boys? <laughs> ang, 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 angry ang, <laughs> anger management. <laughs> anger management. The fucking no anger, anger management anger. counselor. Yeah, that's our name for the flesh pounds. Yeah, um, but that, that game is pretty fun. Yeah. Um, I lost a rocket launcher, and I think someone might have stole it. Somebody nicked it off you. Yeah, I think someone nicked off the fucking. Either thing. that, or you dropped uh, the pistol you had equipped. Yeah, in which oh, case, I, I nicked. In yeah. which case, I nicked it. Yeah. I think and then did. immediately sold it because. Yeah, but anyway, um, I bought it again. The rocket launcher is pretty cool because you could blow shit up, and that's fun. Yeah. Um, I just figured out that you could use the flashlight near the like the end of the round too. I didn't know about the flashlight the whole fucking round. Does it have, like, a battery or anything? It does have a battery. What it used to be was that uh, you used a flashlight to find the um, stalkers, right. which are the uh, invisible bitches. Right. Uh, they took that out, though. Now they'll, like, occasionally shimmer. You can actually see, like, a little distortion where they're walking, though. Yeah, so I, I guess that's what you can see. You. I, at one point, I'm just yelling, there's an invisible bitch behind you, look out! Or something like that. Yeah, and, and then if out. you have the commando perk, they actually glow red for you and your teammates, so you hmm. can see them and you can shoot them. Hmm. So, yeah, it's a it's a really fun game. Oh my god, it's immensely fun. Yeah, it's a, it's not a new game, but it is immensely fun. Yeah, it was only 15 bucks, so that's nice. Yeah, and then uh, Luft uh, Rousers, which I bought before the Steam sale... It's this really fun arcade-style game. I don't like how they just immediately throw you in. There's no, like, menu or anything. I kind of wish there was. Yeah, that would be a little weird if it was. Like, yeah, I, I kind of so wish weird. the settings menu was a bit better, too. But other than that, it's actually... I, I do enjoy it. Yeah, it looks fun. I've seen him play it. Uh, like It's like a... Uh, what do you call it? Like a bullet hell. Yeah, it's, it's a bullet hell. You, know, you fly around, you shoot, and then when you die, you start over. Yeah. It's not, so it's, it's like a combination of, like, a roguelite and a bullet hell. Uh, it's more bullet hell, because, I mean, there's... Yeah, more bullet hell, but, like, the roguelite element is that you die, you have to restart. Yeah, yeah, pretty it's much. Like, it's like a match, I guess you could say. But, yeah, that's uh, that's all you've bought. You he was you were planning on buying uh, Rebel Galaxy. Yeah, and I was also planning... I think I want to buy Firewatch. I might do that. I mean, the, the problem with Firewatch is, I mean, it's, it's like a story, basically. Yeah, it's a story, and I've already watched Jesse Cox play through the entire thing, so, I mean, there's really no point for me now. I've already played through, like, I've essentially already played through it. Yeah. By watching Jesse play through it. That's the problem with games like those. If you do a, uh, you know, if you do a playthrough of it and somebody watches it, the game's now spoiled for them. There's no reason for them to buy the game anymore. Hmm. I don't know if you've watched anybody play through it. No, I've never seen it. I've, like, seen very few gameplay of it. And you, you're probably not spoiled then. But, for, I mean, for someone like me, I am. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend the money, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry, Dems. You should I, buy I just to say, oh, I have it. At least I bought it from you. I experienced the story with that. I paid for it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah. Um, and then there were, you were also going to get uh, Rebel Galaxy. And yeah, I don't know what that... What was that about again? Was it just um, like... Rebel Galaxy is that... Uh, hold on. That's not the screenshot I was hoping for. Uh, let me see if I can get... Um... Let me see if I can get some screenshots of, like, the, uh, gameplay. But basically, the way it is, it's, um, you know those... Oh, okay. Steam Community is currently unavailable. All right. That's, uh, wonderful. Basically, um, you know those games where you're just, like, you're in a Starfighter, and you, like, you have the whole universe to explore? Ah. And then you it's travel around. Well, like, you do, you do missions, you gain money, you yeah. buy better shit. It's not an it's MMO. It's like that game that I bought. Oh, so it's single player? Yeah, it's entirely single player. And the reason oh. why, like... The thing is, there are elements that are clearly for multiplayer in this game, like um, link warping. But the problem is, because of the way this game is set up, if it was put online, it would be so laggy, it would be unplayable. Hmm. Or at least I assume the reason for that is because I think this isn't like developed by a big major company. Oh, I or at least Star, uh, Star Citizen, the game I bought. I didn't buy it on the Steam sale because it's not on Steam. Yeah, um, I think it got pulled on Steam for some controversy a while ago. Oh, really? Then I don't feel stupid now. I think so. I'm not Maybe sure. Maybe because it was an alpha... I'm honestly. Oh, anyway, it's an alpha. It's really fun. The only thing is, that there's like nothing to do. I've already pretty much beaten all the content for it already. Yeah, that's and there why was like that's one mission. I mean, like this game has so much more. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have getting out of your ship, which is what I want. Yeah, but uh, essentially, what Rebel Galaxy is is um, you instead of it just being like a starfighter, you've got full-on capital ships. Like the smallest ship you can get is a corvette. And that's the first one you start out with, uh, a light corvette. I can't remember what they what the class was called, but 
it's it's a light Corvette. It's light. It's a Corvette. It's small, is what I'm saying. And you basically, you do missions, you get credits, you work your way up, you get better ships, you get better weapons, you get better systems, etc., etc. You just, it's one of those games where you, you slowly work your way up the chain hmm. until you're able to, uh, you know, go through all these different missions and go through the storyline. And it has a killer soundtrack. I fucking love this soundtrack. Back to Killing Floor, that soundtrack is amazing. They yeah, have, there's they a... They have a remix of the like, traditional carnival theme. Yeah, for like, the uh, summer show. And it's a fucking <clears throat> rock arrangement. And it's like, why? It's so amazingly weird. But yeah, like, games that have rock soundtracks normally have amazing rock songs for them. Or metal. Rock or metal. Like, Rebel Galaxy. Rebel Galaxies is amazing. In fact, I have quite a few songs from Rebel Galaxy on my phone. There's so many good ones. Hmm. And there's the same thing goes for uh, Killing Floor, except I've only, I only really like one song from Killing Floors, and that's uh, Demon Hunter's Collapsing. I stated that. Uh, I love it when it comes on, and I hate Victor because he got it immediately. Yeah. That was funny. Well, I don't hate him. He's I just I just hate the fact that he got that. But yeah, Rebel Galaxy, I highly recommend it. I just wish it was online because you know it would be. It's one of those yeah, games. It sounds like I thought it was gonna be. That's like what it sounded like when you were describing. Yeah, it. I mean, it sound it's it sounds like it should be. I think the problem is that the devs don't have enough money to get a proper server for it. Oh, uh, alright. Like I I'm guessing if like somebody like Microsoft or Sony had access to this game, like if they owned it, they would be able to allocate you know enough server space so that they could do like cooperative two, four player online. I don't want like whole like big MMO thing where there's like a million different players all in one galaxy. I just want co-op for it. Mm. I don't care about having like a big MMO scene. I don't want an Eve killer from this. I want just co-op so I can play with my friends and have a fun time. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of parts in this game where it's like it seems like it could be co-op. You can get a lot from co-op from this game. But I know why it doesn't have it. It's just I, I think they're uh, that's what I think the problem is. Hmm. So yeah, um, so you were gonna buy all those games, right? But then you didn't end up buying them, right? I just didn't feel like spending that much money, you know. Yeah, um, kind of conservative, I guess you could say. Yeah, I probably should have bought loot boxes instead. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should have done the same, and now I'm in the red zone. Hmm. But hey, what is this? That's besiege. Why is besiege here on the website or in the workshop for Battlezone '98? What Maybe is that doing here? Maybe looked at and showing the Besiege workshop. That would be, that's pretty, that's, that Maybe would be someone fun. put the uh, Besiege, like they, they didn't change their image when they uploaded the new one. Yeah. Uh, I bought Warhammer, I bought a Dark Crusade, specifically for the total uh, Annihilation mod, although I could have sworn it was Soulstorm that was the one that had that. Mm. Uh, it's another, there's like three standalone DLCs for um, the Dawn of War. There's the regular Dawn of War, which I have, Game of the Year edition. And then they have uh, Dark Crusade and Soulstorm, and I think there's one more. I think it's called Winter Assault. Hmm. Uh, Winter Assault is, um, instead of it being Space Marines, it's uh, the Imperial Guard. And I can't remember who they're fighting off in that one. I just know that it, it's predominantly the Imperial Guard for the campaign. Soulstorm, I think, is a continuation of um, the right first Dawn of War game. It's also uh, one of the main sources of meme... For uh, the Dawn of War or Warhammer 40k, uh, you may uh, you may recall the meme uh, Space Marines or uh, Metal Boxes. Oh, well then you better uh, you better search those up. It's it's just that's where a lot of people get those memes because the voice acting is like there's some horrible voice acting in it oh apparently. Oh my god, I want this game now. Yeah, it's just like they they. I love horrible voice acting. Like they just say Doctor Wowie, we, we need to get to the radar. I love bad voice and acting. We find that video. We'll find Doctor Wowie. That's probably one of my favorite animes. Is called uh, Kramati High School. He he ate my pencil. He, he ate, ate my pencil. pencil. It's so, like, the way he says it is so funny. It's, like, terrible. It's, like, on purpose bad, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Dark Crusade is, like, what I understand considered the best of all of them. Because, basically, um, the way this works is uh, Dawn of War Dark Crusade's campaign isn't, like, a traditional linear campaign, like a Game of the Year, the regular version of Dawn of War. Um, how it works is you're on a continent on the planet Cronus. And you've got eight factions. You've got the Space Marines, the Imperial Guard, 
the orcs, uh, chaos forces, the Eldar, the Tau, and the Necrons. And they're all on this one continent, and you're basically playing a huge game of territory control. And uh, you go, you take your main army, you attack territories, and it basically puts you into the standard RTS game. And you just take over things, destroy enemy bases, and eventually you knock everybody off of the continent, and you win the game. That's how it's supposed to work. I haven't beaten it yet, because, well, I've already stated why. I kind of suck. Uh, not to the point where I lose, just, I, like, I'll suck to the point where I'll do good, but then I'll get myself into a position where I'll lose, so. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's for stu- it's just, I, I'm stupid in the fact that I make stupid mistakes that fuck me over in the long run. my fidget spinner? There it is. We should have that as the fifth topic. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, I, I do really enjoy that game, it was actually really cheap, uh, for this. Uh, the problem is, I, I bought all these different games, but uh, here, here's a dilemma with um, YouTubers. So whenever you, whenever I, or at least for me, whenever I buy a new game, I'm there's the same way. So yeah, there's there's always like that little either. thought in the back of my head that's like, oh, damn it, this is my first reaction. You know, I I kind of want to record myself playing this game. I, I want to like record it and you know make a video out of it because it seems like it would be a good idea. And you know, it's just like I kind of lock myself from playing the game, because then I have to find a good time to do it, and I gotta find a good, you know, place to do it, and there's times where I might, you know, screw up and have to take another, do another take, etc., etc., and so I've, I basically lock myself from playing uh, some of these games, like, specifically Pl Planetary Annihilation. I wanted to save that for a recording, because this game, it's like, it's supposed to be really good, and I just, I kind of locked myself out of playing it. Um... But for some of these other games that I have that, you know, I kind of don't... Like, people already know what they are. Uh, like, Saints Row the Third. I'm probably not going to wait and record. Uh, I may do, uh, like, one of these podcasts where I, like, compare the two and say which one I think is better. Um, but for some of these other games that I don't think many people know about, or at least no, many people today know about, I kind of want to just make videos of them and, you know, release them. Like, I did a... Uh, like, I... Well, actually, I should probably save the uh, series for later. Uh, but, uh, there's, like, a whole bunch of series I'm trying to start up on, uh, my own channel that I'll regard to these, uh, different videos. But, yeah, I think that's it for, uh, talking about, uh, the games we bought. It's yeah. been quite a while, actually. I think we spent, like, an hour and 15 minutes talking about that. Yeah, well, that's we the have, podcast life. Yeah, we have to maybe manage, uh, stuff better. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch, uh, TF2 changes to, uh, after... Or uh, before the Alex Mal Alex right, Mauer. Then. So vote the page. Uh, All right. So we have a page of um, balance changes that they're sp supposedly going to put into the. Um, New TF2 update. And this is the first time I've read it, by the way. I have not read it at all I've told before. you a little bit about some of the bullshit, though. Yeah, and uh, we're going to be, we're gonna be uh, reading it. Least used weapon. All right, so right here. First thing I can already see, multi-class, panic attack, least used weapon. I use it all the time. Yeah, me too. It's a really fun weapon. Yeah, it's, it's a fun weapon, and it can be good in, like, ambush situations. Yeah. Of course, if you're, like, you, you flick too much like I do, you'll miss a lot of shots. Yeah. That's my problem. Like, I'll overestimate how far somebody's going to move. And uh, that'll end up I'm missing. I'm not sure you're like this change, though. Because they basically completely destroyed, like, its original purpose and changed it completely. Alright, so the main culprit seems to be the queued delayed fire at expect. Which fights against the basic concept of the secondary slot classes that can be used as weapon. Uh, okay, goal. Make the weapon immediately usable. 50% faster spit switch speed. Wasn't it already? Didn't it already have a switch speed thing? I think it was 25, though. 50% more pellets. 30% less damage? Yeah. Jesus Christ. How does that... How does that nerf it? That's a nerf right there. Yeah. Like, you add almost... You almost... You amplify the damage by 0. 0.5. Like, by 50%. That's... So, like... It's 1.5 now. The base damage. Or, that's the damage modifier, because the amount of pellets. But then you're removing the amount of damage by 30%. So that means you've basically just cut down the damage by 
or you've increased it by 25 percent and then the next two things are fires a wide fixed shot pattern regardless of server settings which sounds nice because it means it's consistent well i mean why, 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 what does that mean like the shot, like how the spread, like you know, how like when the, you shoot with the scat, it goes in all these directions and it's kind of random. With this, it's saying it'll shoot one, two, three, four in the same pattern every time. Oh, okay. Instead of like being more random. Shot pattern grows with successive shots, e.g., holding down the attack button, but reset. So basically, what you're telling so basically me. Basically, instead of when you load it, the more you load it, the faster it'll fire, I think. Or pattern, the bigger the spread will be. Uh, but that just kind of defeats the whole... It's not the panic attack anymore now. There's no panic. Because now it doesn't have anything to do with being low on health. Oh, fuck. Really? Like, the reason why I was... Uh, like, here's how... Here's what you should do to, like, make it better. Make it so that instead of having to hold down the mouse button to hold it... Like, have it reload so it loads the four shots... And it just, like, you you can keep it there. That's one thing I could see helping people use it. Because the reason why people can't immediately use it is because you have to load the four shells the moment you take it out. But just make it so that you have to load the shells when you, like, you can load the shells off there. And then it saves however, like, it, then you can click again and that's when it fires. Yeah. You've so still got that one, you still got the thing where you still need to reload because it takes, like, two seconds to load all the shells in again. Yeah. But I mean, like, that's how you make it. Okay, Ambassador. Players that are headshot from across the map are expecting to see a sniper in their death cam, but sometimes they see more often than we'd like a spy with a revolver. First shots are no longer perfectly accurate. Bullet spread is instead reduced by 50%. What? Yeah. I don't really understand this change. This makes headshots less reliable at long range. How about you just make it so that there's a damage fall off? I think that's what they're trying to say, but they're saying it in this weird way. I think that's what they mean. Den Ringer. Feign death is an interesting effect, but a good spy can use it extremely frequently. Yeah, like the broken loadout with the Let Ringer and the uh, Dead Ringer. Yep, live forever. So ammo kits and dispensers no longer refill the spy's cloak meter. Basically meaning he cannot get back his Dead Ringer until it recharges itself. So he can't live forever now. Alright, I can accept that. Um, was, but here's the thing, here's like, the thing, yes. here's the thing. Does that apply to the Let Ranger? Because if the Let Ranger recharges it faster, there's no point. Because that's the broken loadout people were using in the first place. Right, yeah. I, I, so they're still not fixing it then. All right, and I remember this specifically because there was a kid that was pissing me off and he's, you know, doing the whole, you know, troll thing. Uh, I'm the greatest. You suck. You just suck. You, I'm the greatest. Hmm. And he's using a broken loadout. I hate people like that, by the way. Yeah. You're using a broken loadout and you say you're good. You're not good. You're just a moron. Like my quote. All right. You, your eternal reward. The least used spy knife. Well, technically the reskin is, but anyway, what reskin? The, uh, winger prick. Oh. It's like a little, little like, uh... Oh, the, the, skull, the skull needle thing. Yeah, it looks cool, but I don't like it that much. I mean, nobody uses it because it removes, like, a... Pretty big aspect of the spy. Well, look what they're going to do to it. Removed. Cannot disguise. Pa All right, I'll give you this much. That does uh, makes it a regular knife. But then the non-kill disguise disguises requ require and consume a full cloak meter. Okay, that's better. Backstab based disguises are still free. Increased cloak drain rate by fifty percent. So does that mean like if you get a backstab or you try to disguise? It'll work like the cloak, where your disguise is a limit. Is that what that means? No, no. When you when you disguise without a backstab, it's gonna like drain your cloak meter, oh. and then you'll be stuck in the disguise. Uh. So it's like a danger thing, like a risk versus reward. I guess. Sandman. All right. I'm not sure how I feel about the Sandman nerfs. Or the feedback on this weapon has been fairly consistent for a while. Players really hate losing the ability to fight back. Yeah. Generally, compounding this, the ball has to travel really far in order to disarm players. Yeah, it's kind of overpowered. Why isn't it that the further it goes, the less power it has? I think that's what they said. Lo that long range balls no longer, no longer remove the victim's ability to fire their weapon, but the victim is still slowed. How about the way it works is the closer you are, the more damage it'll, or the longer the stun effect is, because the velocity of the ball is, the velocity of any object thrown 
will slow down gradually the farther it goes. That's why when snipers shoot bullets, they have to adjust for the shot fall off. Max range balls now do 50% increased damage. Okay, so you've just increased the damage further. That's nice. The flight time required to trigger the max effect has been reduced by 20%. Okay. Wait a minute. This is a buff. They buffed it. They buffed it? They buffed it. So now it takes this less... weapon is really overpowered. Buff Greninja. Wait, what? <laughs> Ball regeneration time reduced to 10 seconds. You've done nothing to fix the problem. You've made it worse. Okay, so now the players can shoot. Okay, good job. Hey, how about you just change the time of the stun the further it is? Because I'm tired. Because, you know, people are tired of getting sniped by scouts. Sniped by scouts. This is, uh, why? That is, that's, that's, that's a ridiculous. Bonk Atomic Punch. Changes. Apply a slow effect to the player after phasing wears off. Alright. Based on the amount of damage they absorb. Okay. Alright. Cool. Lasts five seconds. Eh, this, that's kind of nerfing this, though. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't think five seconds is long enough to get past a century, or at least a good century now. I'm disappointed with the Pretty Boy's pocket pistol. Pretty they Boy's... Off, they took off the push. That wasn't the push. That was the shortstop. The shortstop's a push. The pretty boy pocket... I always think this is a different weapon. My God. This one adds health and also... Uh, well, I think it like heals on shots and also prevents fall damage. Oh, yeah. I think we buffed it. Though. All right. So this weapon is one of the lower owned or equipped items in the game. Looking at the current designs, it seems that not taking falling damage is pretty low on the value scale for a scout. Eh. I like it. Hmm. Okay. So make the... Get health quick tool. All right, yeah, that's that seems like it'd be pretty useful. Reduce the magazine size, though. I thought it was already reduced. Yeah. Fifteen percent firing speed. Okay, but since it's now got nine shots, that's just gonna burn through ammunition. Yeah. And, all right, up to seven HP for hit. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, it's like the black box for the scout. All right, so um, all right, so now we're doing the criticola. Let's see here. Marked for death. This was okay. Didn't add any risk in the moment. Yeah, it did. The thing has a risk. You do extra damage, but you take damage in in and of yourself. Yeah, no, no. You don't take extra damage. You just mark for death. Wasn't it that it used to be you took more damage? No, that's what it should be. Like I thought, I like should have shulk in Smash. Bros. So wait, it lists it lists on the Criticola that take twenty five percent or take mini crits on hit and deliver mini crits on hit. So the mini crits are just you get marked for death? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it does do. Maybe they changed it, but I'm not sure. Removed marked for death when effect expires. 25 move speed bonus. 10 plus 10% damage taken penalty. I don't know why the move speed bonus was, uh, you know, required, but all right. Atomizer. The triple jump is a pass as a passive effect is just too strong. Too strong? What? The bat was horrible. I remember dying so many times because I accidentally pressed the space bar too much and I ended up dying because I was on 10 health with that thing. It did not need a nerf. And he got a nerf. To deploy the bat to take an advantage of the extra jump. Remove the self-inflicting damage. All right, that's nice. Attack speed penalty. Okay. Triple jump is now... Okay, all right, I I judged before I'd read the entire thing. Yeah, I mean that actually makes it easier to use because you don't have to worry about like. Yeah, it's okay. This seems like it may be a, a buff. Okay. All right, flying guillotine, high burst damage, remove the feelings of randomness and reward ac accuracy, remove crit versus stun players. All right, so you can't do that combo anymore. All right. All right, that's all right. Nice. All right. Mini crit. Oh, oh, mini crits at long range. All right. You almost said that. that Shut that the really fuck up. Wrong. Shut up. All right. Base jumper. Base jumper is frustrating to fight against. What are you talking about? All you need to counter one is a machina. Yeah. All in fact, oh, that's it's how really you... hard to hit a really slowly moving target. Like you don't even need a machina to do you that. You need just... a good. You need a. You here's can here's just be good. like. For anyone who's watching, here's how you counter any market gardener or any base jumper users. Get yourself a good steady hand and a machina, and you're set. The moment one of them hits the ground, they're dead from one shot. Just one shot to the chest. If they're not already damaged, the moment they hit the ground, they'll die. 
End of story. All right, so reduced amount of air control while deployed by 50%. All right. Of course, when uh, you got the man treads, it doesn't exactly matter now. Yeah, the man treads. We, we, I already told them about the man treads. Fuck the man tread update. Second least used item in the game. It's fun to use, but 75% push force reduction now includes air blast. All right. Just added 200% air control. Just imagine this. Rocket jump. So now all somebody has to do... Well, actually, wait, no, because you can't equip the base jumper and the uh, man treads at the right, same yeah. time. Okay, never mind. But wait, still, no, wait, isn't the... The base jumper is the middle slot. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's the same slot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but you could basically you rocket jump, and you could hone in on someone like this, and then, bam, land on them. All right, so... I think that's what it's going to look like to me. Probably, yeah. Um, all right, so sniper, Darwin's danger shield has immunity to afterburn and a 50% fire resist. So that means it just py counters pyros. Hmm. That doesn't matter much. So now it's basically nobody's going to use it. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no point in using it now. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, the danger the danger isn't pyros. Because pyros normally get gunned down before they can get up to the battlements. If, yeah. you know, their team are good. Is the danger shield the one with the fucking stun thing for the spy? No, it's the, uh... It's the alligator one. Yeah, the alligator one. Yeah. That adds health. So now it's just nobody's going to use this. Razorback. All right. Added 100%, minus 100% overheal penalty. Shield regenerates after 30 seconds. Hmm. Also reduced the effectiveness of pocketed snipers. That's not going to, that's not going to reduce the effectiveness at all. No, that means you can't get overhealed. Well, yeah, but I mean, you can still survive headshots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vita saw... Ubercharge on death is too valuable of an effect to be passive. Oh, okay, so they've just removed that. Added organs collecting concept. You know, hit someone with the saw, out pops a vital organ, which then you take and hold. Oh. Okay, so this is actually just a buff. And you get to har get harvest people. Oh, Jesus, that is dark, that is man. That is dark. <laughs> Crusader's crossbow. This game is rated teen, guys. Calm the fuck down. Okay, so I guess they've just nerfed the um, cr Crusader's Crossbow. I guess I'm not going to be using mine anymore. Oh, come on. That's this might be okay, up. given the trade-offs. However, it's also the fastest way to build Uber Charge. It is? Uber Charge gain rate reduced in the same way that the Metagun's healing is, based on the last time the target was in combat. Reduced by a third when 1 to 10 seconds outside of combat. Scales up to normal. What does that mean? Is that, that, that's really confusing. That's, yeah, what, what do you mean? Like... An enemy appears within like twenty meters of your player. Like, what's the what's the statistic for that? Uh, Heavy. This is weird. All mini guns. The one second dam damage one second damage and accuracy planet penalty now applies to the first second of spun up time. Where I didn't know that was a feature at all. Hmm. Whether or not the heavy is firing. Previously, the one second damage penalty will only be removed after one second of firing. So I guess after one second, there's a damage penalty. Mm-hmm. All right, accuracy and damage penalties now respect, reset when the heavy spins down, rather than when the heavy stops firing. All right, but I mean, when you spin down, you stop firing. Yeah. So I mean, it's just. Yeah, but now it's you can if you you can keep spinning to keep the buffs or whatever, and the buffs or whatever it is. Gloves of running urgency, speed, lack of is used to balance the heavy's high health, overheal, and damage output. Added, max health is drained while the item is active. I thought it did that anyway. Hmm. Health will regenerate only the amount drained while active, minus any damage taken during that time. So basically, you de-equip it, you regenerate the health you lost. Oh, okay. I think. Maybe. Removed mark for death effect while active. Removed 25 damage penalty. Hmm. Uh, but then there's items for other, pl other classes that have that, though. Hmm. There's also... Other items for heavy that do that. Yeah. Eviction notice added max health is drained while item is active and regenerated while holstered. Health will regenerate only... So they've just... Why? Because they're retarded. Yeah, I'm starting to think so. Downside of increased melee damage doesn't ever really come to a player... Come into play when it counts. Added 40% overheal reduction while active... Added 40%. Are you fucking joking? Why? That wasn't the fucking problem. I've been dealt with several times with the Fists of Steel. 
by people who are smart enough to take out their melee. These are... Why? How does that fix anything? Now you've just made it harder. Well, I, I, I you won't you be using it. You don't have to fix the game if no one wants to fucking play it because it's fucking trash. Like, fuck you. Why does that make... That makes no sense. The, like, is that supposed to stop people from using it in melee battles? And having a medic at the same time? Nobody uses this weapon as a melee weapon. They don't use it in, like, straight-up melee fights because it's that's the disadvantage. You're not supposed to. It's supposed to help you move forward. It's supposed to make you like a like a wall. It's, it, you're, it's supposed to reduce damage from, you know, bullets. That's the point of it. The point isn't to get into melee battles. The point is of it is so that you can, you know, get into an area or, like, sneak past enemy defenses without dying. So now you've just nerfed it in a way that it didn't need to be nerfed at all. So now having it equipped just causes the player harm. That doesn't fucking make any sense. Anyway, let's go on to the engineer. All right, the, the last change. one. Okay. The rescue ranger. Ability to repair... Okay, so um, now they've just gone and made uh, range repairs now consume metal. Yeah. So they basically just defeated the purpose of the rescue ranger. Yeah. Good job, Team Fortress Team. Good job, Team Fortress Team. You've managed to not only not understand the, you know, what the actual problems with these items are, but you've also gone and fucked them further. Nice job. You're the reason Except why this game is dying. Them. Except that they, they, the only thing they did was possibly fix the dinner. Yeah, that's the only thing you've actually managed to fix. You've brought how many weapons are you gonna break before you know you you just lose everybody? Even Uncle Dane. Like this is the reason why Muzo doesn't play this game anymore. Yeah, and me too. This is why this is why this this is why Team Fortress Two is in my never fucking play again folder. I used to love this game. I spent that money on this game, and now they fucked it. <sighs> Do we never spend money on video games? Yep. You just pirate them. Joking, gosh. Calm down. Oh, well, better be. I will block it with my fidget spinner. Oh. Get your cancer spinner out of here. You're supposed to be curing it, not causing it. Alright, next thing. Um... I guess what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the Alex Maurer channel, and then we're going to segue into plans for the channel, and then figure out what our fifth topic is going to be. Yeah, that's... Channel plans! Yes. Right, time, to move on from ang time to move on from Angry Boy to... Angry, angry <clears throat> To channel plans. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I guess I'll start, since you started with the Steam thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Plans for my channel. So... Recently, what I've discovered with my videos is a lot of the times the uh, playthroughs I just do when it's just me in a camera playing a game, it's less funny and more just me, you know, me playing the game. <clears throat> you know, trying to be semi-serious about it. The Like, the funny moments more come from, like, me streaming with you or just, yeah. you know, recording with TJR. Those seem to be, like, the funny moments videos. But for, like, me playing a game like, um, well, let's take a look here. Me playing a game like, uh... Like lift trousers. Like like lift trousers. Well, though I didn't play that. Like me playing a game like Cinemora or um. Oh, what about that game where you were like shooting the robots? Um. Oh, what the hell is it called? Sir, you are being hunted. Yeah, yeah. And then there's uh the one where I did the recording of uh me playing Unreal Tournament. Like those games are I've more. I've never seen that. That it's... slipped by the radar for me. Oh, uh, it's called Darts at a Board Episode Two: Brave New Series. Oh, yeah, 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 all right. So basically, which I'll segue into that. But, I, like, I seem to play all these different games, and I, I seem to more, like, I'm less, you know, playing them for funny moments, and I'm more playing them just to show them off. And so I'm thinking of just making that, you know, a series of mine, and I'm thinking of just calling it, like, the base name I have for it now is just Show Off. Or Shown Off, maybe. That's a better... Yeah, that's a little better. Uh, like, it's just, like, a name that regards to me, you know, showing these games off, you know... As like showcase, a maybe? yeah a showcase, admiral's showcase. Yeah, I think that that might be a good name. Yeah, write that down. 
<clears throat> yeah, I should probably, uh, well, I'll do it. It's an easy phrase to yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'll keep it in the back of my head. I'll forget it on purpose. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, I, th I think, I, I want to, like, start doing a series like that. Start naming my videos that, and maybe see if I can animate an intro for it. Because, you know, I, I like doing that. I like showing off good games to on in my videos. I like showing, you know, games that are interesting. Yeah, maybe or, make it more structured, too. Yeah, like probably. more structured. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking of, you know, trying to do that. Uh, I actually have a few videos in, uh, in line for this. Uh, it's pre-recorded footage uh, that I recorded uh, during those three weeks I took off. Uh, I've got a... Uh, let's see, what do I have here? I have a third episode for World of Warships. I've uh, got a game called Zotrix. I've got a Project Root, I've got Luftrausers, I've got Lambda Wars, I've got, um, what else do I have? Um, what else? Ugh. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other one I did. There was, like, one more. Endless Sky, there we go. I did Endless Sky. I have, like, I think that's, like, five or six games that I've played that are, uh, you know, I played them more just to show them off, not to, uh, you know, have funny moments, although I did attempt to have funny moments. But, yeah. But, uh, the second thing I... The second channel thing I want to do is, uh, Darts at a Board. Which is, uh, a series I tried to start up, but it didn't seem very popular. Considering Darts at a Board Episode 2 only has four views. Uh, I don't think it did very well. It has less views than the first, quote-unquote, Darts at a Board episode. Which was the one, the playthrough I did of 3089. Um. But, yeah. I want to, I want to do more Darts at a Board series. The problem is, though, for it to, like, work, I kind of need more people to, you know, tell me what games I want from my Steam list. Because basically the way it works is, or the way I want it to work, which this is also a suggestion from uh, Naresh. He's recently come back. Hello. Uh, by the way. Uh, what we're going, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have viewers pick some games off of my Steam library. I'd like, and then you choose at random? Uh, no, they'd, like, choose a few games. Like, there, there, there'd be, like, a vote for like, five different games, and then I'd take five games, put them on a list, choose one at random, and then play it for that video. That's a cool idea. You have to have viewer, like, a, like a bunch of viewers. Of yeah, that's the problem. Maybe you could do that, like, later on in your career or something. Yeah. I, I, I'm thinking so. Otherwise, it'll just be me picking the, you know, the games. Yeah. Which, I mean, the benefit to that is, you know, I choose, you know... The five games new, because sometimes, like, if I put my entire Steam library, people will pick old games for me to play right. a second time. But, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of doing those two things with my channel. Um, I've also been trying to get out uh, more TJR videos, but the problem with those is I try to make them in the style of Soviet Wombo, which is I have the subtitles and all the funny animations and such. The problem is uh, that takes a lot of time. I actually tweeted at him, uh, you, know, you know, props to you, man. This, this shit takes a long time, and... He actually responded, and he said, yeah, I know. It was pretty cool. So yeah. technically, technically I had a conversation with Soviet Womble. Yeah, I came up with that technically. joke. Technically. 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 Which is the, te I'm technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so those videos take a while. I actually have two in the works. So I have one of a match of Killing Floor 2 we played. Um... And that's actually further along than the second one. The second one is us playing Dead by Daylight. It's the only time I've actually ever played it. I not, I think I died. Huh. Yeah, I did die. Because uh, one of the players was using like this kind of overpowered one where instead of putting people in the hooks, you could just stab them right there. It's kind of, uh, kind of overpowered. It sounds overpowered. I have no idea whether the game works, but this sounds overpowered. I mean, it is. I mean, for, I guess, like the really good players. Like, if you're facing, like, pro MLG pros at the game, it's more fair. But I mean, for just like new players like myself, it was just kind of unfair. Hmm. But that's a different story. So yeah, that's what I, uh, that's what I, that's kind of what I've been planning for my channel. Uh, I'm just going to keep uploading uh, footage as I get it. Uh, recently, it's going to be the arms footage. Uh, what oh I'm my god, dude, that was fucking hilarious. His thumbnail is the best. I think that's your best thumbnail yet. Uh, I, 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 I like the one the for the initial week. I love the Eminem, though. It's so funny to me. It's just so uncomfortable. If you look at the thumbnail, it's Eminem, like... It's just like we found a really uncomfortable photo of Eminem. It looks like he like, came out of the bathroom and there was someone with a camera, like, yo, smile, and he's just like, Yo, no. sla yo Shady, smile! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even smile. He was, like, frowning. 
He was, he was just like, like, oh, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> he looks so uncomfortable. He looks so uncomfortable, and I put it in the thumbnail. And then he also made a really funny image per my request, uh, uh, what per I did, my suggestion. What I did was, um... Apparently he has a beard now, right? So yeah. we looked up that picture, I'm like, yo, that looks like Vinny from Vine Sauce. So he put, remember Eminem, this is him now with Vinny, and it was fucking great. Where is it? I gotta find that. Yeah. And you gotta upload it to the Vine Bureau. Bureau. I do, I do. Because, like, then he'll see it and he'll laugh and it'll be fun. Because he looks through every picture. I swear. Um, just trying to find it. Yeah. It might have saved somewhere stupid again. <laughs> yeah, anyway. That um, happens occasionally. We should move on to my uh, channel thing soon. Alright, uh, oh, here it is. Okay, yeah. It's just so dumb. Remember, Remember Marshall Mathers? This is him now. Feel old yet? Yeah, but you can't see it. He'll put it up, so, yeah. Oh, I'll put it up uh, at a later date. Go. Okay. So, my channel, Abstract, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I, I guess just spar your talking about the channel. Yes. Um, on there, I have a show called Abstract Reviews. It's about um, Spe me, Spario. Speaking of which, what of the uh, review that's been in like limbo for five months now? Um, I'll finish it. I have a new schedule for that. I'll explain that. When Let me explain the whole thing. So, okay. Schedule is included in this. So... Um, it's like a scripted kind of like story. There's a storyline that I plan to have between the characters of Pineapple, Greg, and Spario, and then now Dokoro, a new character um, who just appeared in this new episode. It isn't out, and I'm still working on it. So that's one series. But I thought I'm not going to be making that. That's going to be something like if I get it right, if I actually edit correctly, or get someone to edit correctly. Either way, if someone's editing it, whether it be me, him, or some mean man I hired from a samurai buyer or something. <laughs> hire a samurai. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, if I hire a samurai to edit, or me, or him, he probably won't do it because he has no fucking time because he edits his own videos. Yep. Yep. Um, he's pro he'd probably do a better job. It would come out much funnier, though. Well, I mean, I've got, I have to edit two videos, and my schedule is I basically just edit Tuesday and Thursday, cut Wednesday and Monday, and upload Wednesday and Friday, hmm. and then occasional, and then upload on Saturday if I have this, which I also got to edit today. Yeah, anyway, so, um, the plan would be, even if I was editing on schedule, it would probably take about two months per episode, so every two months would be an episode. So what am I going to do in the meantime? So I have a couple series in mind. One is Pi Pineapple Talks. Where Pineapple does these uh, like kind of comedy routine where he talks into the camera, and the first one was pretty funny. He was talking about um, he, look at this fucking me man. He's talking about like store stories. So like for example, he went to the store, and like there was this bullshit person at the counter or something like that. And it's like you know a comedy kind of stand up comedy kind of thing. Well, he's sitting down and he's looking into a camera, so it's not stand up. It's sit down comedy. That's what I can call it. But I'm calling it a Pineapple talks about or a Pineapple tells stories and stuff like that. And I thought that would be good. I came up with a really cool intro for it. I still have to edit it together. Um, I just haven't had the time because I've been working on the other episode and playing Overwatch. Um, and by working on the other episode and playing Overwatch, you mean just playing Overwatch, right? Ding, 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 ding. Anyway. So I the win. intro for that is actually, it's like a sitcom parody. It's fucking hilarious. He's seen it. I uploaded it. You uploaded like a trailer for it. Yeah, like, like, like that's the intro though. Oh. That's like the intro that'll play in front of every episode. Um, the other thing I want to do is more stream highlights. Um, I'm thinking rather than... <laughs> he just put my Steam profile picture on the fucking full screen. And the file name is Cat Kills Crew of 30,000, and this guy makes this face the sequel. Anyway, um, so what I was thinking of, I was thinking of taking an Uncle Dane stance on this upload thing with the highlights. If something funny happens, I upload a clip and that's the... It. Like I did with the last video I made... Which is a TF2 player gets triggered by Seinfeld reference. It is fucking hilarious. I make it every time he 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 keeps calling the players triggered, and every time I do it, I play I put the triggered thing and it sh and I didn't shake the screen because I didn't have enough time. But apparently the cuts in that were really weird. Was that was that true? Yeah, there was like a black blind like the screen would go black for like a millisecond. Yeah, I know that's kind of I didn't know what to do because it was so close together everything. I didn't want to put the little beep beep. A boss, you know. Well, you should have. Uh, you shouldn't have uh, cut them so close. Oh. Like if it was so close that the point that you wouldn't need to put a uh, cut. You Not that close. It was like maybe it was like a there 10 were parts seconds in between 
two clips. No, there were parts that were literally like they were right after it, so you wouldn't have needed to cut it. Yeah, but there was something in the between there that I didn't want to show them, usually. Like uh -huh. something annoying or not funny. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. But I do want to talk about, this is technically not my channel, but I do want to start a webcomic. I want to start something other than, like, a, a story that's more consistent. And I have a bunch of ideas. I talk about it on stream all the time, of all my ideas. Um, Temporary Jerry, which he's never heard about. It's fucking dumb. Temporary Jerry. Yeah, it's a guy, it's basically, it takes place in Abstract Reviews universe. And one of the masks that people have basically changes depending on who's wearing it, and they become the next Jerry, so they're temporary Jerry. And now, which Jerry are we talking about? Is it the Jerry just, nobody likes, or is it Jerry Seinfeld? It's neither. Or is it Barry B. Benson? It's neither. It's an all it's all it's an all new original Jerry coming soon to a meme near you. But I'm probably not going to do that for a while because it takes because it's really crazy and wacky. Um, mm. Then there's uh, Cyrus and Saturn, which I've been working on since I was 12. And then there's this new project I just came up with about a high school group of kids play, like playing video games and having fun. So it's basically a sitcom webcomic. So it's basically a slice of life game? Yeah, a slice of life comic. comic, yeah. I see. And then there's Universally Abstract, which will never happen because it's about space and there's so much fucking work to do with that. And then there's Consequ Consequential, which is also in space. Which Bas is, which basically, you've got a lot of these concepts for comics. And I can't choose one of them. I really want to do... Write them all down on, like, a document, and then write down the settings and such. Mm hmm Actually, well, yeah, that's, that, that was it. Okay. Just, just, like, write all these ideas down. Make a, make a cesspool of memes and ideas. Yeah, that's a good idea. Speaking of uh, ideas, um, I forgot to talk about this before. Um, but uh, one of my friends, uh, Riley, we've mentioned him before, on the uh, Warframe stream specifically, because he really likes Warframe. Um, uh, excuse me, this is quite rude. Is stretching on a podcast rude? I don't know. Does is, it really that considered, is that considered rude? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you What do you breathing. think? It's what do you rude. think? Jingles. Just cuts to his face in the video. Ah, I see. Uh, yes, sir. I'll get right to it. All right. So my friend Riley, he re is really good at writing. He is. Uh, he's had teachers tell him he's really good at reading or at uh, writing stories, and he's written some really interesting pieces before. Um, uh, he actually wrote a piece a while back. I think I saved it as a document. The problem is I don't have a uh, Microsoft Office on this computer yet. I haven't found the disc. Hmm. But, um, yeah. Uh, he's been writing a few short stories. And, uh, a while ago he had a, he had writer's block. He had no idea what to make of, you know, what to, like, make a concept on. And I recommended him this one idea. And the idea was basically, uh, there's the, so there's, like, the Earth... And I guess it's sometime in the future. And there's an like it's one of those futures like uh, Deus, Deus Ex Machina, where, Machina, where everybody has uh, you know augment, yeah, uh, uh, yeah cybernetic enhancements, augmentations. And the concept that I had for it was that an EMP goes off and it just kills tons of people, millions of people, because they had all their cybernetic enhancements, and because of the EMP, those just shut down and just started killing people. And the whole concept of it is that there's like a small task force that's going and trying to figure out what actually happened and trying to, you know, reverse the effects or at least repair the damage as much as they can. And this was several years ago, and he's just now started to develop a universe around it, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've never, I didn't know your friend was that big of a writer. Oh, yes. I mean, you told me once, and I kind of like... I mean, now you say it, like, that's cool. Yeah, he, he's actually really good. Uh, I think I can actually share with you the uh, document. Uh, you could uh, just put it into Google Docs. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. He, it's on Google Docs. Oh, yeah. That's how he shared it with me. Oh, okay. But, yeah, he, uh, he's been doing that, and it's really good. Uh, if he ends up... Cross-promotion. That's our, that's our fifth topic. Books? Or... No, this, this... What you were just talking about, your friend. Well, I guess. Yeah, sure. Just to I get some publicity. I thought we were going to talk about the job situation with us, how we're never going to find a fucking job. Eh. Uh, Six topic. We don't have a job. The yeah, end. A, the end. <laughs> Wait, I, I I just contradicted myself in the earlier part of the stream. Oh, no. Yeah, that's uh, I guess no. You gotta say that. Damn it! I was gonna kill you for the end of the stream, and that was gonna be it. Oh, okay, do it again. Oh, damn it! All right, we're just gonna have to do a cut. And uh, that's the end of the podcast. Now, uh, thanks for watching. I gotta go um, clean this mess up. <laughs>